Now, this is going to be hard to hear, especially for some of you hardcore lefties out there. Lenin is considered an iconic socialist due to his key role in the Russian Revolution and the establishment of the Soviet Union. Now, many people just assume if you create the Soviet Union, you are therefore as left-wing as you can possibly get. But Lenin's rhetoric and actions weren't exactly from the left-wing playbook. He made some serious concessions to achieve what he thought was best for the cause. So, the question really is, is Lenin left-wing or even a socialist? <laughs> Vladimir Lenin was born in 1870 in Russia and enjoyed a middle-class existence as his father was a high-ranking government official. This allowed Lenin to attend university studying law, where he joined a Marxist revolutionary group. Around this time, Lenin's brother was executed for his involvement in a plot to kill the Tsar. While this forged Lenin's hatred of the monarchy, it was his radical undertakings at university that led to his first exile to Siberia. He would then spend upwards of 10 years writing, studying and organising to inspire the Russian Revolution. Interestingly, Lenin is not his real name. It is Vladimir Yulanov. He derived the codename Lenin from the river Lena in Siberia. Lenin became the leader of the Bolsheviks in 1903. The Bolsheviks represented the radical wing of the Russian Social Democratic Labour Party. Lenin theorised that the Bolsheviks needed to build a disciplined and tightly organised political party led by a vanguard of professional revolutionaries in order to achieve their revolutionary goals. Being a passionate advocate for the ideas of Marx and Engels, he believed that socialism was the only solution to the problems of capitalism. He used their ideas to justify his approach to socialist revolution, which centered on the idea of the dictatorship of the proletariat. During the October Revolution 1917, the Bolsheviks had planned to wait for more popular support before attempting to seize power, but Lenin demanded immediate action. His decision to launch the revolution with a small, tightly organized group of supporters was risky, but the rest is history. Following the October Revolution and resulting civil war in Russia, Lenin established a one-party state with the Communist Party of the Soviet Union. He saw a pressing need for a highly centralized political organization to carry out the socialist transformation of Russia. He believed that a single party would prevent the disorganization that had destroyed earlier revolutionary movements. He also knew that the country had to move quickly to industrialize and modernize and a single party was just the most effective means of achieving this. He also believed that the Bolsheviks needed to maintain control over power to prevent counter-revolutionary forces from regaining control of the state. That meant that political parties were gradually outlawed under Lenin's leadership. In March 1918, the Bolsheviks dissolved the democratically elected Constituent Assembly, declaring the Communist Party only legitimate political party. In 1921, they launched a campaign of repression against opposition groups effectively outlawing factions within the Communist Party itself. Now, establishing a one-party state and dismantling democracy is literally the opposite of left-wing and socialist ideology. The left was forged in radical democratic enthusiasm and socialism seeks to democratize the workplace as its raison d'etre. Now, I am not saying that Lenin didn't have his reasons. Russia was facing some astonishingly prodigious threats at the audacity of the Bolsheviks to take and then hold power during this carnage is the stuff of legend. But dress it up any way you like. Lenin and the Bolsheviks were not socialists. You could even make a case that their takeover was a right-wing coup, spreading an autocratic authoritarian regime that used communist terminology to win popular support. The deep confusion caused by equating Leninism to socialism has meant a hundred years of angst for people trying to reconcile left-wing ideology with Soviet actions. And for all of you simply thinking, well, the ends justify the means. Yeah, well, here's the unfortunate ends. <laughs> Lenin is a revolutionary, 
one of the greatest. But let's not conflate that with being a socialist. Remember, I am, you are, we are a mystery.